Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the net present value when you have constant cash flows or when you have even cash flows using the Sharp EL738 financial calculator. Now, we have done a similar lesson to this using the same financial calculator. We did the net present value when you have uneven cash flows. So if you haven't checked that one out already, you'll find the link to that one in the description below. We have also done all these lessons using the table. So if you'd like to know how to do that and the theory behind the net present value and so forth, you will find the links to those lessons in the description below as well. So let's get into this one. The net present value. A company is considering investing in a project and wants to know whether it should accept it. The cost of capital for the company is 10%. The initial investment is 15,000 Rand. The cash flows are as follows. And you can see we are given cash flows from year one all the way to year four, and they're all the same. That's what we mean by constant cash flows or even cash flows. And then we are asked here, based on the net present value, should the company accept the project? Now, if you know how to do the net present value when you have non-constant cash flows using this same financial calculator, you can also do this the exact same way you do it when you have non-constant cash flows and you should get the same answer. But what is the easier way to do it when you have constant cash flows? Here's how you do that. There are two ways you can actually do it with this financial calculator. The first way is this way. First things first, let's make sure we clear the memory of our calculator. So we press second function and then we press here it's written alpha and then we press zero and then we press zero again to confirm. Now that we've done that, we can get into our calculation. The first thing there is to put our initial investment of 15,000 Rand and we know that the initial investment is a negative because we are paying that one out to invest in the project. So I'm going to press 15,000 Rand and then I press plus slash minus to put it as a negative. Remember to press plus slash minus and not the negative sign. And then I press enter and you can see that's my cash flow at year zero because if I'm going to invest in this project, I'm investing today, which is year zero. And the next thing that I do is that I put my cash flows and we know that it's constant here. So here's how we do it with this one. We put 5,000 Rand and then obviously it's a positive and then we press here it's written X comma Y. Okay. Once you press that one there, you now need to put how many years it occurs for. It occurs for four years. So I put four and then I press enter. And that's it. Now I just need to clear my screen and then go to second function. And then I press here, it's written CFI. And once I've done that, I just need to put my interest rate, which is 10%. So I'm going to press the 10% and then I press enter. And then I press the downward arrow. And then I, and you can see what it's showing me is the net present value. So I just press COMP, which means compute. And there it has given me my net present value, 849 rand 33 cents. I hope it has made sense. You can see how easy it is when you have constant cash flows to calculate the net present value. And what does this net present value mean? Well, you can see that it's positive. So based on the net present value, the company should accept the project. And that's how we analyze the net present value. What is the second way of calculating the net present value when you have constant cash flows using the same financial calculator? Well, let's just clear our memory again. Second function, alpha, zero, and zero. I need to put the number of years, which is four. And then I press N. And then I put the interest rate, which is 10%. So I press 10 and then I press I slash Y. And then I need to put my payment, which occurs for four years. So I just put 5,000 Ren. And then I put it as a negative because I want my present value to appear as a positive. So I press plus slash minus. And then I press PMT. And then what I need to do is to press compute, C-O-M-P. And then I press PV. And then once it has given me the answer, 15,849 Ren. 33 cents. I just need to deduct the initial investment of 15,000 Rand. So minus 15,000 Rand. And if it's positive, we should know that the net present value is positive and we will accept the project. And you can see it's giving me the exact same answer, 849 Rand, 33 cents. Now you can pick which method is easier for you and which one you prefer. I prefer the first one that I showed you. So you can even do it the exact same way we do it when we have non-constant cash flows. I hope it has made sense. You can check out our other lessons using the same financial calculator. Till next time, cheers.